Do you feel like you're a survivor? Yeah, I shouldn't be alive. I really shouldn't after what happened. Paramedics get to the scene and even they are stunned at what they're seeing. A 12-year-old girl, she'd been stabbed you know, multiple times. They removed her clothing by cutting it off and got her on the gurney and into the ambulance. I could see multiple wounds on her. She was able to somehow communicate with them in that moment that, that this was a knife that had been used. They asked how long was the knife and she said that the, the knife was about like this. And she was talking about the blade, not the handle. I was waiting in the ER, and Peyton was brought in by stretcher. The look on her face is something that I will never forget. Uh, she, she looked like she was in an extreme amount of pain. So you bring her in here. One of the first people to see her is the ER doctor, and he told me that her blood pressure was dangerously low. Her heart was working in overdrive. I mean, this is a 12-year-old girl uh, really struggling to survive. And when you looked at her, it was immediately apparent she'd been stabbed multiple times. Yeah, to her chest and abdomen and arm and leg. My first thought is I need to get some sort of information from her in case that she does, she does die. I confirmed with her that Morgan did the stabbing. I confirmed that uh, she was in the woods at the time and that there was another girl there at the time when this happened. When Detective Tristoni hears this, that she's been stabbed uh, by her friends, she knows she has got to get to Peyton's mom, Stacy, uh, and, and right away. It is never fun making a notification to anybody because when they see us, they know it's not good. The first thing that goes through my mind is something has happened to somebody that I love because that's the only reason a, a, a uniformed officer and a detective comes to your house on a Saturday morning. She was very calm, uh, very collected. She knew that something was going on. I don't think she knew exactly to what extent it was. They said, is Peyton home? And I said, no. And they said, was she at a sleepover last night? And I said, yeah, she was. I explained to her that she is alive, but she's been stabbed. I said, well, are, are, is it or the wounds superficial? And they said, well, we really don't know, but call your husband, find somebody to take care of your son. She just went right up there, and she made it in time before Peyton went into surgery. I walked into the trauma room that she was in, and she was pale as a ghost. She was terrified. She was crying. She couldn't breathe. And all I hear is, there's five on her arm, there's seven on her leg, and I'm thinking, what, seven, what? And one of the nurses says, all right, I count 19, and then the second nurse said, I count 19 as well. Nineteen, what, this, there's no way. There were so many of them that they were carefully going over Peyton's body to make sure they hadn't missed one. Uh, Stacy says she will never forget. And I said, you're gonna be okay, it's gonna be fine but I could see that she was covered. Her arms and her legs and her abdomen, they were covered in stab wounds. Does it seem surreal even to this day? Yeah, it does. There, I mean, there are definitely like moments from that day. They're just, they're burned into my mind. I'll never forget them. Describe the moment you first see her. The surgeon who I was there that day, when he was looking at the wounds, and in particular, the stab wound to the chest, he told me that it, had it been the width of a human hair deeper, that stab wound, that she wouldn't be here today. The knife stopped at the wall of the artery. Had it not? Had it not, she would have had a major heart attack from the amount of bleeding and probably died within a minute or two. And now police decide they've got to go to Morgan Geyser's house to figure out how this happened, what was behind this. They asked me, where's Morgan? I said, she's at the park with her friends. Angie Geyser told us that there was three girls, a third girl named Anissa, and the three girls left earlier in the morning for the park, and they hadn't heard from them since. They searched the house, and I just kept asking, you know, what happened, what's going on? And they, they wouldn't tell me other than to say there had been an incident at the park, and one of the girls was hurt. The thing that really struck me is the way that she portrayed her daughter to be, that she was totally normal, she was a good kid, and she thought that this was totally out of character 
for Morgan to be involved in anything like this. After we had found out that there was this third girl, Anissa, that was there, we were able to get in contact with Anissa's dad. Bill, my ex-husband, called me and told me to get to the condo as soon as possible. The police are there looking for Anissa. We searched the house. We didn't find either of the girls there then. Where are these other two girls? They know those two girls were in the woods, but they cannot be found. Where's my daughter? That's the only thought I had in my head. I looked at her cell phone, checked all of her text messages, trying to figure out the people that she called and contacted last. Christy Wire said that she had found Anissa's cell phone and found a particularly disturbing message that was on there. I found basically her goodbye notes. I thought that they were in grave danger that we may find these girls dead. What was the meaning of this? We need to find these two girls. So what's going on with you? Why do you think you're here today? It is a scene uh, you rarely see. Two 12-year-old girls in separate interrogation rooms. And when she began explaining, I just remember going, this is the most unbelievable story I've ever heard. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.